The Life and Sad Ending of James Brown James E. Brown was born on 22nd March 1920 in Desdemona, Texas, then a petroleum boomtown to Florida Estel Brown, a carpenter, and Cordy May Brown. He attended elementary in some of his high school years in Waco, Texas. He attended Schreiner Institute in Carryville, Texas, where he played tennis, sang in the glee club, and played sousaphone in the school band. After high school, he enrolled at Baptist-affiliated Baylor University in Waco. After a brief period as a competitive tennis player, Brown launched a four-decade career as an actor, with roles in more than 40 films, including Wake Island, 1942, Air Force, 1943, Bing Crosby's Going My Way, 1944, Objective Burma, 1945, The Fabulous Texan, 1947, John Wayne's Sounds of Iwo Jima, 1949, The Charge at Feathers River, 1953. He has become famous for his role as Lieutenant Ripley Rip Masters in all 166 episodes of the 1954-59 ABC Western television series The Adventures of Rin Tin Tin, the story of a boy and his German shepherd. Brown appeared as a young officer at a remote U.S. cavalry outpost called Fort Apache. Child actor Lee Aker appeared as Rusty, who had been orphaned in an Indian raid and was adopted by the troops at the fort. In two Rin Tin Tin episodes, Forward Ho and The White Buffalo, Brown sang in his rich baritone voice. In 1976, he hosted a revival of Rin Tin Tin reruns, which extended until the 1980s. In addition to the adventures of Rin Tin Tin, he appeared in such children's programs as Adventures of Superman, as Jim Carson in the 1954 episode Around the World with Superman, Sky King, and The Lone Ranger. He made two guest appearances on ABC TV's Ozark Jubilee in 1955 and 1957. In 1959, Brown appeared as Andy Clinton in two episodes of the ABC Walt Disney Presents miniseries titled Moochie of the Little League, starring Kevin Cochran and Russ Conway. In 1960, Brown appeared in the NBC series Laramie as Lon McRae in the episode Strange Company. From 1962 to 1966, he appeared three times in different roles in another NBC western, The Virginian, He appeared on ABC Family Western series, The Travels of Jamie McFeeters. In 1964, he was cast as Sergeant Quincy in the episode, Not in Our Stars, of the NBC Western, Daniel Boone. In the fall of 1966, he appeared as a reoccurring character, Luke, in the ABC Western sitcom, The Rounders. From 1960 to 64, he guest starred eight times in different roles in the CBS adventure drama series Route 66. In 1966, he appeared on ABC's Honey West, and in 1969, he guest starred on ABC's The FBI. He also appeared on Lassie as Forest Ranger Mike McBride and Gunsmoke as Mark Feeney in the 1963 episode Quince Indian. In the 1970s, Brown appeared in the pilot movie for the short-lived CBS series Bearcats and the ABC crime drama Starsky and Hutch as R.J. Crow in the 1977 episode Bloodbath. From 1980 to 88, he appeared in 27 episodes as Detective Harry McSwee, a corrupt police officer working for the vindictive J.R. Ewing on CBS TV's Dallas. Brown's final screen role was as Dr. Gordon Church in the 1988 episode Morning Among the Wisterias of the CBS series Murder, She Wrote. Sadly, on April 11, 1992, Brown died at the age of 72 of lung cancer in Woodland Hills, California. He left his wife, Betty, three daughters, Carol Teese, Wendy, and Barbara, and a niece, Cynthia Brown, whom he reared as a fourth daughter. His ashes were scattered into the Pacific Ocean.